There could be times when it becomes necessary to make a change that will affect a large number of part records. The update function is used to change multiple records all at once rather than having to do it one at a time. First, the inventory part records must be filtered down to only those that require the change. This is accomplished by selecting appropriate search criteria. It may be a certain category or vendor, coupled with some type of partial part number or description that these items have in common. Once you have performed the search and the range of part records is selected, the update function becomes available. Updates made via the Inventory Update dialog box are only applied to those parts that are currently selected in the inventory list. Take care that you have selected the correct inventory records before initiating the update process. The Inventory Update dialog box allows you to change the vendor assignment, update list price by a percentage, and or change the line codes for these parts. This is much faster than finding, opening, and updating and saving each item and repeating the process many times. Be sure that the new part number is the same if changing vendor. If not, consider making a new part record as the line code could be different as well. Please note that if the price update percentage function is used, the selected parts will have their user entered sale boxes checked because this type of override is created and applied manually which defeats the markup specifically calculated by the markup matrix. Because the matrix pricing is such a powerful feature, it is defaulted to no changes when the inventory update window is first opened. Here are the matrix pricing options that can be applied to your selected range of part records. Disable matrix markup. This checks the user entered sale boxes in all of your selected parts. This will stop their exposure of part cost for these items to the matrix to create system calculated selling prices. The prices will be locked where they are at this moment and users will need to revisit these records individually to adjust the pricing of each as needed. Enable matrix markup. This unchecks all user entered sale checkboxes in this range of selected parts, then exposes these item part costs to the matrix which then applies the current markup setting. Any previous user entered sale prices are now replaced by matrix driven prices. Once the changes are made ready, clicking OK will display a confirmation screen that recaps how many records are being updated, who is the primary vendor, and what is being changed, price, line code, etc. When Yes is clicked, the changes to this range of records will be applied.